Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Legea. We only have one big challenge in front of us, which is the dream match against Steel and Avalon. So, we're going to be just solely focusing on that, but we do need to prepare. So there's a few things I need to do. Gather a few more Heaven Secrets just so I can max out Lang's armor, considering he's the only one that's going into the fight. I need to get to level 99. I need to just like restock my medicines, and then we do the fight. So yeah, let's just get started. First, I need to get, I think, two Heaven Secrets, because we did get one from the Centurion Challenge last episode, and if we look, I think I just need to upgrade these three, so I need two more, and luckily, I can actually buy two from the Ultimate Weapon Shops, so we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. He sell- oh, so this is it right here. I know Remarkable Fell, he makes high-quality armor. He calls it the Ultimate Armor Shop, there we go. Ain't that, uh, ain't that the truth? You should go and see for yourself. Okay, now I have the ultimate armor shop, and I can go ahead and buy, just straight up buy one heaven secret from him. Okay, so I think what I need to do, because I was like sitting at the weapon place, very confused. I think I need to buy stuff from him, and then it'll let me open it. But anyway, let's go to the ultimate armor shop right now. Let's go ahead and take a look at what is going on here. So I've never been here, so I didn't even like really look up a guide on what this place is. But I think this place just basically sells the highest tier weapons in the entire game, excluding Heaven Secret stuff, you know, Ultimate Armor Shop, okay. So I think I need to talk to this guy and he'll actually give me it. They say, okay, yes I am, one million, perfect. And then this guy actually will sell stuff to me, yeah. Now, I don't really need any of this stuff. Cool, now we have another one. We need one more Heaven Secret, I think. And let's go ahead and go to the Ultimate Weapon Shop. But first, I need to unlock it. Okay, there we go. Okay, cool. There we go, that's exactly what I needed. So I must have not combined enough weapons, which is surprising. Um, but I guess I really didn't do much combining in the entire game, but... Okay, that's that's it. That's all we needed, I'm pretty sure, because now we have that nickname. Let's go ahead and talk to my boy, and he should give me the ultimate weapon shop, and I do... I spent a lot of money, but I still have enough. Um, I happen to know the best weapons maker to ever hammer a blade. He lives on the desert island, well, almost deserted. He calls his own shop the Supreme Weapon Shop. Ain't that a hoot. Anyway, you should visit if you've got the chance. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Let's head over, and, um, yeah, so then we'll upgrade all of his armor. I think we'll have to maybe do a bit of, a bit of, uh, materials gathering. Um, okay, it should be right here at the weapon shop. Cool, 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 cool. And then, um, the only thing that I'll need to do is basically get to level 99, which I'll have to do completely off camera, because that'll probably take several, several hours. But, um, maybe I'll just do, like, the 100 challenge again or something, we'll see. Cause this time I kind of know what enemies I'm facing, so it should be like, you know, a lot easier. But let's go in here. And if we talk to this guy, he will sell me it, yep. Gimme, gimme. Alright, so there's, now we have three Heaven Secrets in total. Ah, uh, there we go, yep, he's selling a bunch of this stuff. I might need to buy some of these. Yeah, cause also what I'll need to do for Lang is combine to get some of his best accessories. Okay. Well, cool. Anyway, let's go outside and let's see if we have all of the materials to combine into Lang's best stuff. Okay, so if we come over here... Okay, we need this. Perfect. Bam. Now we've got the best one. As far as his um, arm armor, we need a Divine Hope. There we go. Bam, bam. And then for his leggings, we need... Oh, I guess I need to make the evil boots first. Yeah, evil boots first, then ruler leggings. And then we need another evil jungle stone. All right, everybody, I bought that stone, so let's go over here. Stone alpines. Cool. And then the last one should be the valiant piece. Okay, so now all four of Lang's stuff is completely maxed out. This is the best stuff in the game. So the only thing we can do from here on out is basically just his equipment, um, which I'll have to look into to make it the best. 
Okay guys, so I'm looking at a guide here. I need to get a tireless ribbon, a gladiator ribbon, and an alarm badge. So that's what I'm gonna be working towards. Okay, so let's do the dead end badge and the knockout badge, which makes the alarm badge, which is what we need there. So the alarm badge, okay. Okay, so I need to talk to this guy. I need healing, I need like two of these, okay. I need to do the muscle with the winged and I get a sagely ribbon, okay. So now, I need to get that Sagely Ribbon with Flash Earrings. Okay, so if we do the Extract and the Muscle, we get a Gladiator Ribbon, and this is the correct Gladiator Ribbon. Okay, cool. So now we have two of the three pieces. So we have the Alarm, we have the Gladiator, now we just need the Tireless Ribbon. Okay guys, so I finally have everything I kind of need, right? So I have my flash earrings with the sagely ribbon, I have the gladiator, and I have the alarm one. Now I just need to um, combine the flash with the sagely, but I need both of those to be max level first. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, max those the out. The alarm badge was made with a knockout badge and a dead end badge, and then I made a gladiator ribbon um, by combining a muscle ribbon and an extract badge. And then lastly, I made the tireless ribbon by combining flash earrings with a uh, maxed out flash earrings with a maxed out sagely ribbon. And I made those flash earrings uh, by buying, by using the secret market and buying a bunch of the winged and the healing uh, thingies, uh, accessories, and combining them until I got that. So now I'm just in this place trying to level up and I'm just slowly, you know, um, obviously now I have to... Uh, level up all of these accessories. So once I get to 99 and level up these accessories um, Then I'll basically be ready for that dream match, which we're gonna do. Oh, and one last thing actually before I go um, There's a few other small things I need to do before the dream challenge mainly I need to get more invincibility pills So I tried the dream match already once and I got blasted by Avalon with like 5,000 damage I need invincibility pills and I think I found a way online to make them. I don't know yet, but um, once I'm once I'm getting close to the 99 or I get out of this dungeon, then I'm gonna go and try and do it. All right, everybody. After a long, long while, I think we are ready to actually take on the dream battle. It is late, um, but I'm ready to do this now. Just a few quick points. So I am not level 99, but it's because I think I could do it without actually being max level through cheesing of invincible pills or uh, yeah invincibility pills which i didn't realize you could actually make i googled and it said it's they're not craftable it's like they actually are all you need to do is go to the um, tanza buy a sword take that sword bring it to jenga trade it for uh pills and then from the secret market you could buy materials to make those pills into invincibility pills so I basically got a bunch of invincibility pills and I um, have certain things in my accessories which I'll show you in a minute which will give me certain properties to do a lot of damage equaling a win in the dream. So let me show you really quick. Um, oh my controller's dying here. So if we look at, um, so I just got done leveling up the accessories now I'll kind of show you. Um, if we put max H AP, this will mean we always have 100 AP. And full power means if we block, we get three times power. So basically, I'll always be able to use a Mystic Art. And this will give me three times the strength. And then all I need to do is have full MP. And then use an Invincibility Pill. Which basically means I can't die. And I can use Mystic Arts whenever I want. As long as I get hit enough, you know what I'm saying? So... We basically win like I don't even need to be you know level 99 because we win and then I already double checked and I'm pretty sure my dream battle is already unlocked so that's all good. Let's go ahead and go over here. Let's go to the dream match and I wouldn't be surprised if I probably fail this a few times. Okay well uh you know it is what it is okay. 
seeing this footage then. Ha. Dude, I'm literally dead because that blood is there. That's it. That's a right shot right there, my guy. Alright everybody, let's get started round one. So we got Sharon, which is super super easy. She tends to outspeed me. Um, but that's okay because I just need to basically survive one hit from her and she's basically dead unless she like does some weird thing where she blocks everything but I made sure to take off all of her equipment before the round and that includes all of the other party members that we're probably gonna face yeah you can see here I'm doing like a solid you know like 1,000 damage and you know she only has like 4,000 HP and I just did 17,000 so that's not gonna be you know too much of an issue here and it looks like we get a 50% recovery bonus, which isn't bad. Um, not like we technically need it, though. We've got plenty of healing items, and we've got a lot of healing when we defend and when we hit. Alright, uh, Maya, round two. This one's even easier because she doesn't tend to outspeed me. Once again, she probably would outspeed me um, if she had all of her stuff on her, which you could probably see from all of those deaths that I had earlier. Um, yeah, it was because she kept outspeeding me and killing me. But not anymore because I, you know, used my brain a little bit. I'm like, hey, how about I just stop being lazy and just take that stuff off my character? And we beat her in the first one. Recovery bonus, 80%. Easy, easy. Let's see, who's round three? You won't forget Bubba. Bubba. Oh, I love Bubba. One of, uh, one of the uh, comments was about Bubba in the earlier, and yeah. Bubba's sick. Um, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go ahead and do for the first time, I'm going to guard... So I get that three times uh, bonus, and even with just using some hyper arts here, oh, yeah, yeah let's just defend one more time, just in case he does something crazy. Okay, actually that's a lot of damage. Now let's, yeah, now let's use it, because I think his big attack is out of the way here, and even using just hyper arts, I think I'd be able to kill him here. Oh, I see on my buttons. But yeah, just two sleeping dragons, and I think with the three times attack, I think this will be just enough to kill him. I don't think Bubba has that much HP anyway. But you can see here, even with this, I'm probably gonna do around 200,000 in damage, so around that ballpark. And that's way more HP than he or even originally has, so. Yep, 224,000 actually. But yeah, so. The further I go into these rounds, I'm probably going to have to do the whole guard three times, then attack method. Um, and one thing, if you guys are coming here looking for like, I don't want to say like a clean, 100% exceptional round, you know, no damage, that's not going to be it. I, so I have a problem with this build. Okay, and Sloga real quick. Okay, he is just going to be just like Bubba. I'm just going to guard and then attack. Um... My strategy for beating this is the cheese strategy where I just spam invincibility pills and slowly wear them down. There are some people that do the opposite and just don't do invincibility pills and what they do is just straight up um, try to kill them in one or two attacks by using um, mystic arts. Now there is a problem with that. Um, all of my items that I've been preparing for the last couple episodes and I think I'm going to do 200,000 damage here. All the items that I've been preparing for all the episodes have healing, automatic healing. So I'm healing when I get hit and healing when I do it. So what ends up happening, and is another reason why I failed, and you saw all those fails, is because I kept healing out of my mystic art range. And then I would end up just kind of like saying, oh, dang it, and then just kind of dying. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to be using the mystic arts if possible. But my main strategy is just the three times and then sleeping dragons. And then Mystic Art, if I'm below half health and it's convenient, then I will. And I think I will end up doing that for Steel. I think Avalon is a lot harder to use the Mystic Art because... Oh, and then Ain. I think this is Fight 4. Super easy. Avalon's a lot harder because his he only does one attack. And it has a, like a base damage of like 5,000, which automatically kills. And if I guard, he does around 3,000. And that's very very hard for me to line up yeah I, I can like i wish i could like draw it out for you okay uh ross okay super super easy now he does have quite a bit of hp 
and his uh, very, very long animation. This is basically a meme for this dream. Like, this guy does destruction. He gives his entire life to this blade. Blade of destruction. And then the big meme here is that he literally, he literally does 300 damage, so... Ah, uh, 600, whatever, close enough. Um, I don't even know what I was talking about. But yeah, I wish I could like draw it up, but if you just line up the... I have to... Invincibility pill, or I have to get hit, invincibility pill, then guard, and then mystic guard. But you gotta remember, I have to be below half health, and I have around 4,000, and he does 3,000. But I heal 1,000 in one turn, which kind of basically puts me above where I need to be. That three, that three like combo that I need just can't happen because I kept healing out of it. So if I get lucky with Steel and he puts me below 1,000, I can do it, which I'm going to try to do it. But with Avalon, I don't think I'm going to be able to, and for him, I'm just going to have to spam the hyper arts. Okay. There goes uh, Ross, easy peasy. Who is round seven? Okay, actually, I think Velna and Vestra are always round seven. So from here on out, it's going to be Velna Vestra. After this is going to be Avalon, and then after that is going to be Steel. This fight is a little bit annoying. If you guys remember the fight that we had to do at uh, that basically the end of the game at Demiurge Tower, uh, Vestra only gets damaged by magic, meaning I have to use Origins, and this is very annoying just because the animations are super long and I'm very lazy um, but it's more annoying because I have to use all my MP and then I don't have much MP left for the Avalon fight which if I accidentally am able to use a mystic card I won't have um, so I'm gonna see at the end of this I'm gonna get rid of Vestra and then before I kill Velna I might use an MP item just so I can go into the next fight with more MP and then my HP we'll see where that is it, it some some attempts I get out with like 2,000 HP. Some attempts I get out with full HP. So I'm not sure about that, but um, yeah, I know the boring part here. I will have to use that origin power three times, and then obviously I have to wait through all of his animations, and I have to wait through all of my animations. But um, that's just the way the fight has to go. I think I could also kill Vestra with the Mystic, but once again, I need to have half health. And they don't do a lot of damage, and they don't do it very quickly, so it's, you know, I'd rather just spam this and win than having to just keep taking damage to get to a Mystic Art, where, you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, back to the original point, if you guys are looking for, like, a super, super clean run, um, I would look up a guide on how to do it. This is just a cheese attempt with invincibility pills, and, um, obviously the one thing you have to do is... You have to have right accessories, so even this strategy, it's not just like a, oh, invincibility pill and then you win. You know, these fat, uh, Avalon has seven, 700, 750,000 HP, and I think Steel has above a million. So you can't just take invincibility pills and expect to win. There's still a lot of strategy, so that comes in the form of accessories where um, I have full AP, which means I have full AP so that, uh, at all times, so that helps using the Mystic Arts. That also helps with spamming these Hyper Arts, because these Hyper Arts also take a lot of AP, which I don't need to, you know, account for anymore. And also the full power, which comes from a different accessory, that does the whole three times damage. And you might be saying, why is three times damage, like, so important? Well, if you really think about it, my base damage is 250,000. So, I would need to do that three or four times to kill Avalon. Or, I could quite literally just do one full power, and I would kill him. So, that full power might not seem like a lot if you're doing low amounts of damage, but if you're getting to the end of the game here, where you're doing, you know, a couple hundred thousand at a time, it, it doubles the damage to such an extent. So, that's, that's why that full power is super important. Alright, she's like doing literally no magic damage to me at all. And this, like I said, this fight is super, super easy. It's just extremely long and boring. It's a cool fight, you know, it's... I think it's like a piece of trivia, I think. I don't know if this is right, I'm making it up, but I think Vestra is the only origin that you actually fight that isn't... 
like, uh, I think I saw it on the wiki, like, translucent and has, like, its own body, you know? Like, yeah, you fight Avalon's origin, but, um, you know, it's like they're combined. Okay, here I finally, you know, I killed, uh, Vestra. Now I can finally attack Velna. And if you guys don't know, um, you, can't, you have to kill Vestra first because if you kill Velna, Vestra will revive Velna. So, big robot needs to go down first, and then Velna. And once again, I can do like 200,000 with just my full power and then uh, Sleeping Dragons. So super easy fight, round 8. Now, or that's round 7. Now comes round 8, which is Avalon. This is and this is where, if you are watching for enjoyment, I would get a pillow, some blanket, and some snacks. Because this is going to take a while. Like I said, I'll have to do a lot of invincibility pills, guarding see if my invincibility pill is still there, do a hyper, um, and during all this I'll have to juggle my HP. So you can see here, I think I'm going to guard for the first time, just because I'm going to try to use a mystic art here, I don't know if it's going to work. Um, and this is the one move right here, so just remember this move because he's going to be doing it about 20 times this battle. He hits me 3 times, each for about 600, if I had different accessories I could get it down to 300, but um, you know. And then he does the 1,200 in the air, his little uh, Goku move right there. So in total, he does about 3,200, which puts me at above 1,800, which you're like, oh, well, you can use Mystic Arts here. I could, but actually not really, because when I defend or attack, I heal. So, like you could see here, if I just did a Mystic Art, I wouldn't kill him, maybe. And... Um, that would kind of be it. Instead, what I'm going to be doing here is using an invincibility pill, and then he's going to attack me, and then sadly I'll be out of range, so no Mystic Art, but I can still use the, uh, the Sleepy Dragon, right? And that'll do um, a good amount, you know, a, uh, enough to kill him in one or two turns, or many, many turns. But again, it all depends on the timing. Like, in theory, this seems like a super, super easy strategy. Uh, but clearly, from all my death, it's not that simple. It, you know, invincibility, I, I don't know, I haven't researched the item, but it seems like it has different amounts of turns that, you know, sometimes it's for four, sometimes it's for five. Um, so you can see, I still have that red glow, and that's kind of how you keep track of that invincibility here. Um, so I'm going to guard one more time here. Because I used the invincibility pill, so now I have to guard. And then if I have invincibility again next turn, which I'm pretty sure I will, the invincibility pills usually last, you know, a good bit. I'm going to be using a sleeping dragon because once again, I would love to use mystic arts, but after he hit me right here, you'll notice if we go back into the battle, uh, Alakazam, I am above half because I kept auto healing. So no mystic arts sadly, but sleeping dragon should be should do a good amount here so let's see how much i do to avalon so i'll probably do around 200 thousand here which is good he has again i think 750 thousand so i basically just need to do this three times and we're set and again depending on how long that invincibility pill lasts you will look back um, this week you know, it'll all depend. But, in the meanwhile, we have to just kind of sit here through all of uh, these long animations. I, I was trying to figure out a way to maybe speed up my emulator. Um, but I actually couldn't find a way, because I'm kind of dumb. Uh, but that's alright. Um, we'll just keep looking at the animations. That's fine. So, I'm still invincible here, but I don't have the three times power. So, I could just hyper... But that wouldn't really be good because I don't really do much damage. Um, so I'm wondering if I should be using a thing to increase my attack damage by 20%. Where is it? I forgot what, like, oh, point card. I could use a point card, but it only does 99,000. So um, where is my... It raises by 20% 20, 20 the attack power. That's not too much, but at this point, you know, we're in this battle for a long run. I'm, I'm just going to use it and screw it, whatever. I know I could win without it, but I'm just going to use it um, because why not? So my normal is increase by 20%, and now whenever I guard, I'll have the three times. Um, but I'm pretty sure 
after his animation here, I'm probably gonna lose that invincibility pill. That's another reason why I decided to just do the um, attack bonus right now, because if you really think about it, even if I guard right now, the sound of life I wouldn't be able to attack because my invincibility pill would go on, so I'd be, be killed. Let's see if I'm correct here. No, my invincibility pill is still on. Okay, well that's unlucky, but that's okay. Um, yeah, let's just do Sleeping Dragon and Mountain Crusher here. Actually, mm, should I? Mm, yeah, let's just do it. Um, I think I'm done when I forgot the guard here. Yeah, ah, oh man, I forgot that three times power. Ugh. I'm sitting here talking about my strategy and I accidentally forget that I didn't guard. I use the 20% power. Okay, well at least we get the 20% bonus, but we don't get that three times, which is going to make this battle just a tiny bit longer. Hey, we still did 85,000. So, so far we did 200,000 plus 80,000. So, right now we're sitting around 300,000 damage. We still need to do around 400,000 more. And if I'm not dumb, I'll... The next two things will be hypers, and we should be able to kill them in the next two if I'm thinking correctly here. Honestly, Steel is like the final boss, but Avalon seems even more of a final boss, just, and even in this, just because he's kind of annoying to fight. And I still have my invincibility pill, dude. That is wild. So I could have guarded and done a hyper, but I I, I, I really thought my thing was going to be gone. Okay, well, it's not, so you know what? I could guard again, but if you really think about it, if I guard again, what are the chances that next turn my invincibility pill will still be there? So I think it's safer. I'm just going to go ahead and do another weak attack of only around 100,000. And then, I, I swear, I the invincibility pill has to go away next round. It has to. Um, if it doesn't, I'd be very surprised. Because, yeah, it's been a couple turns now. But since it goes away this round, once again, I'm going to pilt, guard, hyper. And I won't forget the guard this time. Uh, you know, between all these animations, I sometimes forget what I did last. But, yeah, okay. Goku, hit me in the back. Okay, Avalon. Dude, the invincibility pills are so cheese, though, in this game. It's I, I literally, I only found them out um, while researching for how to, you know, actually do this fight correctly. So, I'm gonna guard, so my triple is done, and then, um... And then we go again. We go again. But yeah, when I was doing the research for this, I didn't realize that invincibility pills, like you find like three of them throughout the game. And then I searched up online, oh, well, can you make these? And apparently you can't make them. But that's false because I looked at another forum from like 2005 and um, all you needed, I think I heard, I just explained this before, but you, know, you buy a sword. Yeah, you trade it. And then you combine that with some things you buy from Secret Market, so it's just super, super, super broken. Um, I'm gonna use a Mystic Art here. I am below that health, and I think we're just gonna kill him right here. So I did finally get a chance to use the Mystic Art here. He did get me below a certain amount. It was a little risky using it here, because I don't think I had the invincibility pill. But my AP was full, my MP was full, and I was half health, so I think I got away with that pretty nicely. Now, I only have 250 MP, so I have to keep an eye on that, and I'm right below half, almost a little bit above half you HP. Okay, strong. final match, we got Steel. And I'm gonna try to use the Mystic Guard again this fight. So it ended up working for Avalon, it ended up working. But I don't know if it's gonna work for him too, but you know, hey, if I can use a Mystic Guard, I will. But that doesn't mean I 100% will. But first, I should probably use an invincibility pill. I, I can't die here, right? So. If he would have stunned me here, the run would have been over. If he would have stunned me right here, the run would have been over. But this is actually the best case scenario because he got me down to 400 means, meaning I can't heal out of my Mystic Art. So this is literally perfect. I have the pill. I can't die. I'll have it for a couple more turns, I'm gonna heal again once he hits me, but I can't go below half, so I will be able to use a Mystic Art here, which is perfect, that means I'm gonna do one 750,000 just hit all at once, which will be crazy. Yeah, so let's go ahead and do that, Flaming Sword, okay, so this, 
big chunk of his health is going to go away right here, which is perfect. It's exactly what we needed. And if you guys didn't notice, the reason why Steel is such a hard boss in this uh, entire tournament is because he does like 2,000 per hit, a little above 2,000, but his chances, his attacks have like 50% to stun. And if you're stunned, you can't defend. And basically, you stun once, and he does 4,000, and you're dead. So that's why he's so hard. But with Invincibility Pill, it has a property of no status effects. And once again, we're still below half. We still have full AP. We still have an MP because we kept some from last round. And we can Mystic Art once again. And there he goes. He is dead. Dead? No, not dead. Okay. One more hit. Um, I yeah, I knew he was somewhere above a million. I didn't know how far above a million, but two, three times hyper arts did not kill him. But I think one more would. But the problem is, I am not below half, so I can't use it again. And I'm really scared that my invincibility pill is gonna run out here. So I'm just gonna do something dumb and probably that something I don't need to do. But I'm just gonna use another invincibility pill. Now I don't know if they stack. I don't know if they stack. I didn't research this at all. I'm kind of... This is my first time trying this. They don't stack. Okay. Well, theory. Okay, there we go. So, if you have an invincibility pill and you use one and it goes away next round, they do not stack. Fair enough. Either way, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to use another invincibility pill. He can't hurt me. And at the same time, he can't status me. So, I can feel free to either just attack him or... Yeah, I think I'm going to guard first just so I can get that 3 times bonus. And this might be enough to kill him. Once again, I can't use a Mystic because I'm not below half. But right here, I think this might be enough to kill him because I did, I think, 1.4k? Or 1,400,000 already. And this should do another 200,000? So... If... I'd be surprised if he was above... I don't know if he has like 1.4k or 1.5 or 1.7 or 1.6 But if he's 1.45 or 6 this should kill him There we go. Yeah, he was probably 1.5 or 1.6 million Guys we won that is the dream match. That was the hardest fight in the game completed This is the hardest thing in the game to do. I put it off for a year because I didn't know if I could do it but, you know, I just need to spend a little bit of a time on my accessories, and that is done. What a battle in this entire arena. Do you still wish to go forth and conquer others? So why not, dude? Okay, there's a certain item, which, here, you have earned this. It's a rare, priceless treasure. A heaven secret, just like we thought. All right. Okay, everybody. So that was the last fight in the game. The hardest thing we have have to do, and there's nothing harder. Um, anything that's left in this game is just very, very small cutscenes and stuff like that. So, this is crazy. I, honestly, I didn't know if I was able to do this fight. I thought it was, like, super, super hard. And it was hard, but definitely those invincibility pills are super cheese. Um, and my controller got, okay, whatever. I don't even need my controller. It got unplugged. Um, but guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as it supports the channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.